All right, guys, fire away. Did you get what you pretty much wanted out of this? I mean, I think so. You know, um, you know, I, I just wanted to get our team on the court against someone else. Um, you know, where you maybe weren't prepared for every scenario, and uh, you know, obviously we were. You know, if you would have asked me last week, lineup wise. You know, some of the lineups we played, I probably would have thought you were crazy, but that's just what happens over the course of a season. So it was good to kind of put some guys in some uncomfortable situations. I mean, maybe a little earlier than I would have liked, but, um, but yeah, I, I feel good about overall how the guys responded throughout the course of the game. And, you know, we we're kind of able to assert our will and, you know, but now you, you got film and, you know, and a lot of times film's a great teacher. So we're going to make sure we take advantage of that. Uh, no, nothing in particular. I mean, I don't think any of them's, you know, a, a, a long-term serious injury. So my guess would be sooner rather than later. Accommodations, or maybe you were, but uh, just giving everybody a chance to play. Is that kind of pleasing? A, a little bit, yeah. I mean, a little bit. You know, I, I like seeing those three guards play together, you know, a little bit. And I think, if you know, if you throw Pella in that mix, you know, it's pretty dynamic um, with, with how they can play. And I want those guys to get comfortable, you know, just, you know, the, with, with, with when you have guys that can play like that, handle the ball, score, and make decisions, you know, it, it might be a different guy's night, you know, and, I, and on different nights. So I, I want those guys to get comfortable, you know, being able to understand that, you know, hey, the way we play, you know, we're going to get a lot of great opportunities and maybe one game you get a few more than the others, but kind of trust that overall. And, and I think if we can establish that, that'll be powerful. What do you think about the cohesion between the three guards out there tonight? I felt pretty good about it. I mean, I, th I think they got us off to a decent start. And I think, you know, offensively they were, you know, pretty connected. Um, and I, I think overall the decision making was pretty solid. You know, defensively, you know, I, I felt like you know maybe we, you know, we, we weren't maybe as solid as we could be. You know, we were an aggressive team, but I think you can also be aggressive and be solid and make good decisions on defense. And maybe we got a little undisciplined or a little amped up at times. But again, you know, the game the game played out pretty fast in front of us. So um, you know, there, there was a lot of things going on. So we'll we'll, we'll kind of see. You know, why you gave up eleven made threes is, is that's too big of a number. And you know, or what, why are we getting in those rotations? You know, I mean, I'll have to go back. I have I have an idea why I think some of them were happening, but I'll go back and double check and make sure I'm not guessing. Caleb uh, made a bunch of drives to the basket, had seven assists. Is he been maybe pigeonholed too much as as a guy that's just an outside shooter? Well, I mean, listen. I mean, I've just asked him to be aggressive and make good basketball decisions, and you know, and 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 he seems to be bought into that. And you know, that's kind of how he's been, you know, practicing overall. Um, so I, I think he's on a good way. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if we're going to see that level of efficiency every single night, but, um, but I mean, obviously he's capable of, of doing some great things, you know, and, and, and I think that that also carries over to the defensive end as well. So I want to see him keep growing there and playing with great effort and, and toughness and making great decisions. And, and, uh, and, you know, rebounding is one of the areas I've really been on him about. And I think he rebounded a little bit better in the second half. So, yeah, seems like he's going to rise to the challenge. Do you think uh, Dylan and Henry did in their opportunities getting more minutes than maybe they would have? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think they were fine. You know, I mean, Dylan's really been practicing well and and making you know big progress. You know, and, and those other two guys he's been battling with are really good players. Uh, and, and Henry, Henry's kind of you know you know been been trending up. And you know, I mean, you know, he's he's been practicing a lot more at the four than the five. And you know, just kind of with you know situationally and how the lineups played out tonight, he had to play more five. I mean, it's not a big difference. And how he plays, but uh, but yeah, I know I want to see him continue to grow as well. And I think I remember, you know, a few things stick out in my mind that he did well tonight. So I can't wait to break down the film and you know show him some of the things he did good and show him some a few of the things that we want him to get better at. What will be the determining factor for playing time with the guys? Um, I mean, impact impact winning. You know, is always what it comes down to. How do you impact winning? And you know, I think you know when it, it's going to be a situation where. You know, we have a lot of guys that can play. And so just finding that balance of, you know, making sure guys are getting opportunities and, you know, getting enough playing time to be comfortable and confident. And then, but, but also, you know, taking advantage of those runs they get and playing with maximum effort. And, you know, we might not have situations where guys are playing, you know, 10 minute runs. I mean, that, that might not be how this team's built. So can we embrace that? I mean, that, that, that's, you know, one of the things we have to do to be a great team. So with uh, Henry, is that is that more exclusively at the four you've been using him with with, with the three other big guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have we have three guys that are probably a little bit you know stronger and and, and more suited to play the five position than him. But you know, Henry can play it as well. I mean, and you know, when, when you're a player, 
you better be able to play multiple positions. I mean, that gives you a, a greater opportunity to, to find, you know, your time on the court. So, you know, Henry's going to play the four and some five. And, uh, and you know, I mean, he just, you know, how, we, how we've been breaking up practice, it seems like he's been getting a lot more reps at the four. So, you know, and then, and then you know, I feel you know, it's challenging for Murawskis because he had, really hasn't played any four at all. And then, you know, we kind of thrust him in tonight where he's playing mostly at the four. And, you know, he's just not really comfort, comfortable because our, our four and five move differently than our one, twos, and threes within the flow of the offense. So, um, you know, so it's pro probably unfair to, to judge him based on tonight. It seemed like Kylan was letting the game come to him pretty efficient night for him. Can you just talk about his development offensively from the offseason to this point? Yeah, I mean, Ky Kylan's a, a good basketball player. I mean, he's he's a guy that – you know, I, I don't want him to pigeonhole himself as I'm a distributor or I'm a shooter. I want him, you know, just like I want Caleb to to be dynamic, just like I want Pella to be dynamic, where they're, they're as good a passer and, and a guy reading the game as they are, you know, taking taking and making shots. So um, I, I thought he showed a lot of that today. I mean, he obviously got us off to a good start, made a couple of shots early, and, uh, you know, he's practiced really well. I mean, he's actually, you know, I think he's really, you know, distributed the ball well. I mean, it didn't show in his assist tonight, but, you know, I, I don't think that's an, any indicator of anything in particular. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go back and watch the film and watch him continue to grow because he's a really good ball player. Six different guys with at least two steals. How do you uh, emphasize trying to get your hand on the ball but not to the point that you're going to get a foul? Well, I mean, we're, we're going to – we'll probably push that limit, you know, I mean, a little bit. And, uh and, you know, I think we have guys that are – that have good instincts, you know, to, to make steals. You know, we, we don't talk a ton about, hey, we got to get steals, we got to do this, we got to do that. I think they're just a byproduct of, of our personnel and how we play. We want to apply ball pressure and we want to be opportunistic. And, you know, I mean, I, I still want to see our defense grow and get better in those gap situations. I think that's what caused some of those, you know, over-rotations today that led to open threes and, and – and, you know, sometimes you got to get in film and, you know, hey, you're, you're excited, you want to make a play, but you have to have a little bit better judgment. And, um, and, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the film and, and, and dissect it a little bit and figure that out and hopefully be better at it next week. Last question. What's your, uh, your message to K.J. Lewis about his role this season overall? Um, K.J.'s a really good player. And, you know, I, I want him to be aggressive. You know, I think he'll, over the course of the year, I think he'll – He'll figure out, you know, how to temper his aggression a little bit to make sure, you know, he, you know, is, is you know, not not putting himself in difficult situations. You know, I think a couple times today I could think of where he got subbed into the game and maybe his first touch, you know, he tried making, you know, a, a, a pass I know he can make on a ball screen, but maybe that's the time you turn it down. So I think he'll figure that stuff out. But again, he's the kind of guy who could change a game with his effort and energy. So the last thing I want to do is make him conservative. Thanks, All right, guys. Thank you.